Here's a problem on the conditional expectation formula. We have a coin. When I flip the coin, probability of heads is P. Probability of tails is 1 minus P. We flip our coin n times. We'll have a random variable capital N, which is just going to record the number of switches and those n flips. So we're going to count the number of times we go from heads to tails or tails to heads. The problem, we want to calculate the expectation of our random variable n. Now, simple case, start with two flips. I'll record all possible outcomes. We'll have the probability for each outcome. Then we note, if I go from heads to heads, we have zero switches. Heads to tails, one switch. Tails to heads, one switch. Tails to tails, no switch. For the expectation, take the probability times the number of switches, take the sum, and that's going to give us 2 times p times 1 minus p. For general n, we'll mark off the integers from 1 to n, representing our flips. So for instance, we have heads, tails, tails, and so on. Our switches are going to arise in the spaces between our flips. So in this first space, we have heads going to tails for a switch. In the second space, I have tails going to tails for no switch. That means we have at most n minus 1 switches for any given trial. Now, how do I completely describe one of our trials? We take the first flip, say it's a heads. Then I'll keep flipping heads until we get to the first switch. So that'll be heads going to tails. Then we'll keep flipping tails until the second switch, which will be tails going to heads, and so on. That means, to completely describe a trial, I need only tell you the value of the first flip, and the position of all the switches. Now, the probability of getting a switch is always going to be the same, whether it's heads going to tails or tails going to heads. It's going to be p times 1 minus p. That means when our first flip is a heads, we're going to have a binomial distribution with parameters n minus 1, p times 1 minus p. This distribution has expectation product of the parameters. So we'll have n minus 1 times p times 1 minus p. Because we have two cases, first flip is a heads or first flip is a tails, we multiply by 2. And this is going to be our formula of interest. We'll prove it directly in the next board using induction and the conditional expectation formula. Now, when n is equal to 2, okay, that's verified by our previous result. If we check n equal to 3, okay, we'll write down all of our outcomes. We record the probabilities for each outcome, and we record the number of switches. Then we multiply through. Okay, I multiply by 2 in each of these rows. And that's going to give us our expected value equal to 4 times p times 1 minus p, and that agrees with our formula. How do we work the problem from scratch? First, we have a fair coin. So p is equal to a half. That'll simplify our computations. If we check n equal to 2, 3, and 4, a pattern emerges. We'll get the formula n minus 1 over 2. This agrees with our general formula. And we note, this says if we have a fair coin, we're switching about half the time. Then we'll go to general p. Check the cases for 2, 3, and 4 pattern emerges, which gives our general formula, and we prove it using induction. So we'll do that in the next step. Finally, if we've gathered enough intuition about the problem, we can try an abstract approach as in the previous board. Now, for the induction proof, we're going to use the conditional expectation formula. So what we have is a random variable x, we're going to condition a random variable x with respect to a random variable y. The expectation of a random variable x can be written as a double expectation on the conditioned random variable. Now, for induction, the induction is going to be on the number of flips to prove our formula. If we have two flips, we've shown that on the previous board, so we have our base case. 
for the induction step, we're going to assume that our formula is true when we have k flips, and we'll use that to prove that the formula is true when we have k plus 1 flips. Now, to do this, we're going to take our k plus 1 flips and condition on the last two flips. So, note, if those last two flips are a switch, the probability is going to be given by 2p, 1 minus p, or 2p minus 2p squared. The probability that those last two are the same is going to be 1 minus what we have when we have a switch. Now, n sub k plus 1 is the random variable for the number of switches in k plus 1 flips. We apply our conditioning formula. Then I note the expected number of switches in the first k flips does not depend on what we do in the k plus first flip. So whether we have a switch or not in the last two flips has no effect on this expected value here. So this term, if I have a switch in the last two flips, we add one. If they're the same, we just leave it alone. So we have e sub nk. Now, this we can expand out. Okay, so when it collapses, we wind up with 2k p times 1 minus p. And that's what we were hoping for to show the formula in the case where n is equal to k plus 1. So that proves our induction step, and that gives us our proof by induction.